Hey everybody, right, okay, so today I'm gonna to share with you a quick video that's gonna show you the five words you should start every single sales call with, and you're probably not gonna guess what they are. Now, what I'm gonna do, once I've revealed these words, I'm gonna give you 10 to maybe 15 seconds to think why these words are so powerful, because that is exactly what they are. Are you ready for these words? Here we go, let's reveal this. Spin that wheel, okay, so. This is the word, these are the words. Is now a bad time? They're the words that you've got to open every single call. The minute they answer that phone and you've introduced yourself to them, what you want to say, don't ask them about the weather. Don't ask them about COVID. Don't ask how they're doing. Don't ask about any of that kind of stuff because, listen, you don't really care. You're saying it because you think you're being nice, you think you're being polite, but it's not important whatsoever. You need to say to them, is now a bad time? And I'm going to show you exactly why that's important to you right now. So as we flip back, I want you to think, as I just said, you get take... Take five, 10, maybe 15 seconds and think to me or think out loud or write it down or whatever you need to do, why you think these words are important. Go. Seems a long time when it's quiet, doesn't it? Right, listen, here's what most people say when we put this out there and say, what do you think is the most important reason why you should start a sales call this way? People often say, it's because it's respectful. It's respectful. We're respecting them. Uh -uh. That's not right. They also say it's because it makes us feel like we're being polite. Listen, we've always been told to be polite. Uh -uh. That's not true either. And then the final thing there is to be friendly. Mm, it's wrong again. It's not about being friendly. It's not being about being polite. It's not you about being respectful. Listen, you should do all that stuff as standard. You shouldn't do that because you open a call with a certain way. You should just do that as a standard thing. That's just because you're a good person. The real reason why these words are so powerful is because it gives control. It gives control. Now, what I want to ask you is who's that control for? Because a lot of the sales training that I've seen and training that I've even had over the years is all about how I can take control, how I can take control of that conversation, how I can steer them down a path that I want them to go down. And listen, let me tell you this, this is probably why most salespeople get a real bad reputation because you're trying to steer them. You're trying to put them in an arm lock and get them to take a deal that's probably not right for them. The real value of why this is so powerful, the control is for them. It makes them feel like they're in control. And when they feel in control, it puts you in a stronger place to advise them. It helps you to be able to not manipulate them, but to help to really serve them, to help them. And listen, why is that important? It makes them feel safe. And if you feel in control and you feel like you're safe, there's a few things that's going to happen. And these three things that I'm going to share with you in a moment are three things that's going to assist you in your sales like nothing else. So let's just think about what we just talked about there. Five words that you should start every single call with. Can you remember what they are? Is now a bad time. So let me just, before I show these words to you right here, these three things that's gonna make a difference, let me explain to you why that particular sentence is powerful. Because if you think about it, if you flip it and do it the other way, if you say, do you know, rather than saying is now a bad time, you say is now a good time, what are they gonna say? They're gonna say, well, do you know, yeah, it's okay, I've, I've got a few minutes, yes, it's fine right now. And you know, I want you to think about the times when you've said that. When someone said to you, can you give me a hand with this? Or can I just shoot this off you? Can I just bounce this idea off you? Is now a good time to talk about that? And you've said yes. Well, what generally happens is in the back of your head, you're thinking, oh God, here we go. What have I committed to? What are they gonna ask me to do? What have I committed to right now? and you start overanalyzing, overthinking, and all of a sudden you're no longer paying attention to what they're saying because you're thinking that you've committed to something. You do it in your relationship, you do it with your partners, you do it with your business associates, you do it with salespeople. When you say yes, the control is lost. You feel like you don't have any control over this conversation, you don't have any control over the outcomes, you don't have control. And when you feel like you're not in control, you don't pay attention, you don't listen. All of a sudden, you're looking at them like a salesperson. You're not looking at them like a trusted advisor. And that's what we gotta do as salespeople is that, listen, we're not Jordan Belfort's, we're not the Wolf of Wall Street, we're not in the boiler room. This is not 1980. Sales is not what that's all about. Sales is about serving. Sales is about you helping other people to get the problems and challenges that they have and solve them for you to really serve and assist them and help them solve the problems. That's what sales is all about. And if you can't do that, then don't try and sell to them because do you know what that kind of person is? That person's a con artist 
and we don't want to be one of those. Well, hopefully you don't want to be one of those. If you are one of those, go away, because I don't want you watching these videos. We don't want con artists. We want people that's out there to genuinely, as we said earlier on, be respectful, be polite, be friendly. Do you know, help these people. Help these people. Now, when you do that, when you make them feel safe, when you make them feel like they're in control, these next three things will happen. Firstly, they will feel much more relaxed because they now feel in control. When they say no, do you know, now's not an, an inconvenient time. No, do you know, now is a fucking great time. Do you know whatever that looks like? They feel relaxed. They're the ones that now feel in control. And when they feel in control, the next thing that happens is they feel more open. So they're gonna share their challenges, they're gonna share their problems, they're gonna open up to you because all of a sudden they're not looking at you like a salesperson. They're now looking at you as a trusted advisor. And that is what we're looking for, is you to come across like a trusted advisor, not just a salesperson that's gonna try and sell them and just you know, spew all your stuff on them until they say, yeah, let's buy. Buy or die, buy or die. We don't want that, we don't want that. And then the final thing is that they become less defensive. So they're not gonna put their guard up as much. When they feel like they're in control, they're not gonna put their guard up. They're gonna be more open, they're gonna be more relaxed, and they're gonna to talk to you. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta look at sales as a conversation. It's not a confrontation. Talk to them, communicate with them, show an interest in them, give a shit about them, really care. Because when you care, and you are curious because you genuinely care, then you'll start to pick up on issues that they have. Then you'll start to be able to get them to understand and challenge that status quo and realize that, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to do things than what you're currently doing right now. Maybe there's things that can improve your life, that can make things easier, that can remove the restriction, that can make your life and business just better. But whatever they're in, in control, like when they're not feeling in control rather, when they're feeling restricted and they're feeling like they're being sold to, they're never gonna open up and share this information with you. So the whole idea from this is make sure that you can take control, but make sure that they feel like they're in control. So you say to them, remember the five words again? Is now a bad time? Is now a bad time? Get that into your head. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do with the first few times you do it. And listen, people will say to you when you make them phone calls and you say, hey, is now a bad time? And they'll say, do you know? No, it's not. They're in control, they're feeling control. But occasionally they might say, well, yeah, do you know what? It's a bit of a bad time right now. That's fine. They're still feeling control. Rearrange the call. All right, I understand that. Lots of things happening right now. When's gonna be a convenient time? Again, they feel in control. Stop trying to be just pressure and putting that, that, that force on them and start to try and serve them, start to help them, work with them, not against them. It's not about you beating them. It's about you serving them. That's the name of the game. Five words you should start every sales call with. Guys, until next time, hope you've enjoyed this. If you find value in this, put a comment below. Tell me what part of this makes sense to you. Find out what it is uh, that, that really, really kind of resonates. Do put that in the comments. Let me know. If you know anyone that will get benefit and value from this, do share it. Tag them in. Spread the love because sharing is caring. Guys, next time.